Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material designing. This is Annie from SmartHerd. In this video we will be learning about the color standards that is being defined by Google to be applied in our application. These guidelines are to be followed so as to make our application more attractive and beautiful and to enhance the user experience. So let's move to the official website and see the various standards that are being defined. So guys, there are various websites that defines the color that are to be used in our application. But this is the official website. On the left side on clicking the navigation icon, we see various topics on which the standards are being defined. But in this video, we will go through the color style and see the guidelines to be used and implemented. Now guys, as we move down, we see the contents, the color palettes, color schemes, text and background color and theme that are defined in this web page. Let's go through it one by one. The very first one is the color palette. This color palette comprises of various colors that is the primary and the ascent color that has to be used in our application. The primary color and the ascent color has to be the brand color of our application. They have been designed to work harmoniously with each other. As we move down, we see a heck lot of colors that are being defined with its hexadecimal values. The color starts with the 500 tint and as it moves down, it starts from 50 and goes on increasing till 900. All the color tints are being shown in this color palette. We can use it as per our wish in our application but at the same time we need to follow certain guidelines that are being defined. As we move further down, we see the color scheme. Now under color schemes, we will see how the colors are to be chosen for different parts of our application screen. This says we have to limit our selection of colors to three hues from the primary palette and one essence color from the secondary palette. That is, for the primary palette which consists of the status bar and the toolbar, we should limit our selection to maximum of three shades of same color and the ascent color has to be a contrasting one. Or if we need to choose different shades for the primary color, a maximum of three shades can be used but for the ascent color, only one has to be chosen from the secondary palette. On the right side of the screen, we can see a small example of UI color application. This is our primary color and this is the ascent color or the secondary color. The ascent color is also referred as the secondary color that is to be chosen from the secondary palette. Moving further down, we see the specifications for primary color and the secondary color. It says the primary color is the most widely used color in all the screens and components of our application. Whereas the secondary color is used to indicate a related action or information. Another specification that is being provided for the primary color is that for the status bar we need to choose a color with the shade of 700. That is if we choose a primary color as indigo the status bar has to be of 700 shade of indigo color and the toolbar has to be of 500 tint. The color primary dark has to be of 700 tint and the color primary has to be of 500 tint. In case if we use the third variant of the primary color, it has to be of 100 tint. Moving further down, we have the specification for the ascent color. The ascent color has to be a contrasting color of the primary color. That is the ascent color and the primary color cannot be same. The ascent color should be used for the floating action button and interactive elements. In the image, we can see the ascent color that are being used in different parts of our application. This is the ascent color that is used when the switch is on. The ascent color is also used in the floating action button. The other places where the ascent color is implemented is the text field and the cursor, the text selection, the progress bar, selection control buttons and sliders and links. That is, it can be used to highlight a link. On the left side, it shows the floating action button using the ascent color. Whereas on the right side, the use of the ascent color is shown in the switch. Moving further down, this specifies the use of ascent color in the text body. 
on the left side we see an image where the ascent color is only used to assess a web link that is to highlight a link on the right side there is the use of the ascent color for body text color which is a strict no according to the google standards or in other words we can say do not use the ascent color for body text color whereas if you want to highlight a web link the ascent color can be used moving further down this image shows the difference between the primary color and the ascent color that are to be used on the left side we see the do image and on the right side we see the don't image on the left side the primary color and the ascent color are the contrasting ones whereas on the right side we see the primary color and the ascent color are same so this is what it says use the ascent color for your primary action button and components like switches or sliders and on the don't image it says don't use the ascent color for app bars or larger areas of color avoid using the same color for the floating action button and the background as i said primary color and the ascent color has to be a contrasting one moving further down this image shows the toolbar and the status bar the toolbar uses the 500 version of indigo whereas the status bar uses the 700 version it is same on the left side as well as the right side the right side image shows the web links and the buttons that are being customized using the ascent color of our color palette that is this action button and this web link has taken the ascent color that is being provided in our application moving further down this is again the use of ascent color in our application the left image shows the text field and the switch that takes the ascent color for tinting the widget the right image shows the text selection that is customized using the ascent color again the primary color and the text selection color has to be contrasting one same way guys there are many other properties that are being defined in this website i would like you to go through it yourself and use it while designing your application this will help us make our application more attractive and beautiful there are various other guidelines that are given in this website on different topics that are used in our application you can go through it and customize your application accordingly so guys that's all for this video in the next video we will be implementing this color standards in our application and we will also be implementing various color attributes that we had studied in the previous video thanks for watching if you like it hit like share and do comment below the video take care and have a good day